everyone, it's Dr. D and welcome to my virtual classroom. Here I'm going to show you how you can use Bitmoji as well as Google Slides to make your own virtual class. Also check out the notes section of this YouTube video and you can snag this particular slide deck and get started. So here's an example. Um, I think this is a good one because it kind of gives students a daily agenda, what they need to get done. All of the links here are hyperlinks. So they're gonna do a morning jam board and check in. Then they're gonna do their blended learning log. There's a number talk and a lesson on dividing fractions. All the other images that you see here were basically just curated from doing searches. Here's another example. This time I actually inserted a YouTube video that I want my students to watch. And of course you can see I have my Bitmoji in here, that's me. Um, so if you are gonna insert Bitmojis, you wanna make sure that you download the Bitmoji extension on Google Chrome. Just go to Chrome extension and type in Bitmoji. So starting with the blank canvas, the first thing you wanna do is insert a wall and floor for your background. You'll stretch it out so it fits into the slide deck. So a little bit of fitting in here to make sure it looks good. If you want to create your images so that your students cannot move it, you would have to do it in your master. So you'll go to File, and then View, I'm sorry, and go into Master, and that will allow you to create backdrops so that the students cannot actually move any of these features. Um, let's say you're not crazy about this brick wall. You can just paint your walls. Just go to Insert Text Box, drag a giant text box in here, and then just select the color that you want using the fill color tool. Boom. Now you have a, a, a new painted wall. If you don't like, I'm not really sure if I like, I like that wall color that much. Salmon. All right, now we're gonna start curating images for a virtual classroom. Searching the web, one of the key tricks is to type in the word transparent with any of your images. That way you don't have to actually crop out anything in the background. So we'll just use this particular whiteboard, drag it to size, it's a little big, put it where you want, boom. Insert other things, maybe you want a plant or you know a, a rug. Just start searching. Start searching, clipping, and moving. Now you might want to um, add some text to your whiteboard. So again, insert text box, and you can play around with the you know the different types of text that you want, size, and so on and so forth. Here's the fun part where you get to actually put in your Bitmoji. So you click on the Bitmoji app. If you want a picture of yourself standing, then go to photo. It'll show all of the standing photos. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag it in there. Again, size it down to how you want so that it fits um, your picture. Let's also insert some other images. Let's see, I really like plants in my room. You can actually, you know, recreate your classroom um, to how you want it to be, how, how it was in, you know, your real class. Ah, don't want it in front of me. So what you can do is you can go to arrange, order, and send it back. So it's just some quick tips on how you can get started. Have fun creating your own Bitmoji classroom. Make sure you subscribe and leave comments for our channel as well. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.